Wow, wow, wow. Would you look at that? You just lost everything. The ashes of everything you knew and loved. Left to burn. Isn't it quaint? <laughs> How pathetic. Yet at the same time, I can't say I don't know how it feels. You're just like me. Come on now. Chin up, as they say. Isn't that what you would do? Hmm? <laughs> You're pathetic. Get over it. Isn't that what they say? Get over yourself. Your pain is nothing. That's what they told me. Or they called me a monster. One way or the other, it ended the same way. With me. Emotions. Those accursed things. We don't need them, do we? This world is pointless. A playground of revenge. And it's all so perfect. All of it needs to be. Because why not? As I sit above you, you on your hands and knees, what could you possibly do to get on my bad side? To harm me? The answer is nothing. It's so beautiful. That powerlessness you have, it's suitable for someone like you. Crawling upon the ground like a worm. You knew this was your fate the moment you set eyes on me. Do you remember when I said I wouldn't do all this? Well, it just suited you too much. This pathetic fate. I can't get enough of it. Revenge isn't the word I would call it. It's something far more deep than that. A just desert against the world. And I could see it, those seeds of despair writhing in your eyes. You are like me. You look at me, and your eyes want to kill me. Not even two seconds in. <laughs> How interesting. You're no different, but you feel that you are. You feel there's justice behind it, but justice doesn't exist. You'll learn that, one way or the other. You'll figure it out when all of your efforts fall right then and there. That, or I'll give you an alternative just for me. You can serve the ultimate destruction. You can serve me. I will be your absolute ruler so that even a worm like you wouldn't have to worry about anything. You have nothing left to worry about. Isn't it ironic? Doesn't it feel free? I've been sitting down in the dirt and mud exactly where you are. So many times I've felt the bitterness of defeat, the anger, the frustration, the pure hatred that's born from these pathetic emotions. I hate them all. And mother, mother was the first. You may be the last before my plan takes root completely. You see, it's so interesting the way that you think that you have any significance. 
is much the same as I thought when I was living in that village. When I thought I had a family. <laughs> Don't you know? Fate likes to scoff at that belief in something more that emotions or anything but betrayals in your mind. There's nothing to it. Nothing except disappointment and hatred looming over every word until you don't feel anything anymore. But that's just it. It takes a lot for that. And not even I have truly met that level of enlightenment. But I will. I will and there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. The only thing you can do is follow in my footsteps, live in my shadow, like the pathetic secondary you'll always be. Don't take it personally. This is all for your own good. The world would have chewed you up and spit you out with those eyes that can't even see past me. You thought I was trustworthy. You thought I was going to help. And now look at you, all alone. All alone in the world. I almost pity you. And that's why you should follow. Follow my orders like an obedient little dog. <laughs> the tears still welling up in your eyes. Even if I'm the one who stole away everything from you, what does it matter? If it wasn't me, it would have been someone else, and they probably wouldn't have spared you. If I didn't think of that little mirror of myself, <laughs> though there's nothing small about you, yours tells me easily. You're just small in your heart, lost without guidance. So let me guide you. <laughs> you know, I never once thought you would take that offer. After all, I did just destroy your entire life. What kind of person follows the one who stole everything? You might be different than me after all in that you're even more loyal of a puppy at the end of the day. Just someone following, wagging your tail for whoever stands above you like this. Is that it? Well, is it? Is it? <laughs> it's cute how you struggle. The way that you have something, something that I want. In a way, I just want history to repeat itself again and again and again. Not in the twisted ways of my mother, but rather in a way completely my own. If I'm to have these putrid emotions, then I'll make the world itself pay for it. And when everyone who lives, who has these emotions, is on their knees where you sit right now, bloodied and beaten, then they'll understand. You see, I've been cast out so many times. Though this time might be the only time I deserved it. And it felt good to leave on my own terms with my own goals. You probably don't understand a thing I'm saying. Your pathetic little brain, not understanding the concept. But even then, even still, this patience, you should be fortunate enough to have it. I'm going to teach you, make you my partner. Of course, 
Some part of me thinks you're more suited to being my toy. <laughs> Look at you. Not even ten seconds, and you're on your knees, head in the dirt, bowing to me. How it should have been from the very start. How elegant you grovel for your life, your pathetic little existence, being something that I want to claim. Maybe I'll make you worth many times more than your meaningless existence would have ever meant otherwise. You want to change the world, to make an impact on it, don't you? If you do, then you're slightly less pathetic for it. Come, and don't fall behind. I won't warn you again. If you can't keep up, that's on you. Not a single thing goes through that mind of importance yet. So don't even bother thinking without my orders. Hmm. Good. It seems like you can take an order. You'll need to learn that. But you're barely managing to keep up. What's with that fatigue? If you want to be my assistant, you'll have to try harder than that. This crumbling world, it needs some guidance. But I think you might just be the most interesting little waste of time yet. You may not know this. No, of course you don't know. But this world needs to burn. And it may seem redundant to you. But what I'm saying is very different. You will be a weapon just like me. Or perhaps that expression on your face, could that be disappointment? Do you not like your new fate? Are you complaining? Or is it something else entirely? Truth be told, I... I couldn't tell you. Not by looking at those dumb little eyes. Your pathetic self might be more useful as a companion of another type. We'll see, won't we? Pick that up. Yes, you'll be carrying that. Now keep up. If you drop it, you'll die. If you fall behind, I'll take it, and then I'll leave you. <clears throat> Why is it you look so happy? Wipe that smile off your face. Hmm? <sighs> Perhaps you're someone who enjoys this. What a strange little soul. I can't fathom how someone so displaced could be so pleased with the circumstances. Haven't you realized this is tantamount to bullying? Yet you seem gleeful as a newborn baby. <sighs> Interesting. How? It makes me want to peek that little brain of yours. Dissect it from the outside. Not literally. <sighs> Pathetic worm. I wouldn't dirty my hands like that. So you have nothing to worry about. And what does that mean? You make little sense. I've traveled alone until now. Since I've been betrayed. One too many times. But this... <laughs> You don't look like you have the capacity to. It's interesting. How about we make a promise then? 
from now until eternity's end. You will stay by my side. Sounds fair, doesn't it? <laughs> Good. I'm glad you like the favorable odds. Now you just have to forbade yourself from dying, or you'll be like that previous betrayer. And then even after you're dead, I won't forgive you. Do I make myself abundantly clear? Good. Now that we've done that, now that I've talked to you for too long, we'll set up camp here. Don't take this as an act of mercy. Nothing could bring me to such a level. No, not even you. Just because you piqued my interest, keep your mind and heart at ease. Though I've made that promise, I expect you to fail. No one's been able to keep up for long. You fragile little mortals, all the same. Why? Why do you break so easy? I've always wondered. And then I realized it. The gods, their faulty little designs, mortals being mortal, if that's the case, and I was giving emotion, then why do I have the same change that bind me? Even then, I can't escape them. But why am I telling you this? Surely your mind is wondering. Why, indeed. Why not? Make the camp happen. I'll be sitting here, watching you struggle, doing things you must have never done before. <sighs> Sadistic. No. Would you humans apologize to an ant when you accidentally trounce them straight away in your path? No. The difference between you and I is the same. And yet, you still give me that smile. What did I tell you? Wipe that smile off your face. You can't. And just why not? You have free will just like me. Don't you? You refuse then. Refusing to take my order. Already. It's nothing. You just reminded me of someone. Are your memories painful too? Perhaps you can relate to me, now that I've taken everything from you. <laughs> you still look at me with those eyes. Cut it out. Enough. Enough. I've seen those eyes. Too many times before, and I don't want to see those eyes looking back at me with hope and desire. That's... that's unacceptable. Don't you understand? There's a core difference between you and me. Why do you... like your eyes... seek to bridge it? That distance between us. Why is it? What is it? Your strange little hopes and dreams. How is it you don't hate me? Or at very least resent me? It's vexing. Extremely so. Perhaps you're more pathetic than I initially thought. <sighs> Damn it. It's nothing. 
Why do you have to have that strange glove? It's impossible. Frustratingly so to understand you. But at the same time, you keep bringing back those memories. I should just kill you right now. I should end you. I should look at the light fade from your eyes like I have a thousand times before. <sighs> what is this? <sighs> Why won't my hands work? What spell have you put me under? <sighs> you... You overstepped your bounds several times since we've met. But even still, I... Why can't I bring myself to mirror that hatred back onto you? It's so effortless when you just hear them scream and cry because it's the one moment in their pathetic little existences that they could feel the same as me. But they get an end. I envy them. So why? Why can't I end you? What is it that makes you different? What makes you so special? Your words are cheap. Your breath. As calm as if you were death itself. What a strange, pathetic little existence. So sometimes it just makes me want to know more. Why? Explain it to me now. Why is it you can look at me that way? Even after everything I've done, don't give me some hierarchy of morals and forgiveness. That's not it. Your eyes betray obsession. What is it? What is it? What is it that makes you feel different? Why is it? Your pathetic little smile has shaken me like this. It's not possible. Someone that's lived nowhere near as long as me. A mortal that challenges me. You're a fool, aren't you? Damn. You really do have a difference from all the rest of them. You're mad. Completely so, aren't you? Lost in that madness, you fell in love with me. Is that it? What is love anyways? I've been told I'm loved before, but felt nothing. So, enlighten me. Tell me why I can't kill you. What spell is responsible? <sighs> Words, again, as cheap as they come. Explain it, clearly. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. I don't feel, not those emotions. Don't pretend that you know me, don't pretend that you care for me. That would be impossible. I've made you suffer. So why? Why is it that I'm the one? I'm the one shedding tears. Why? What is wrong with this situation? It's wrong. All of it. You're wrong. 
and empty. Enough of your insolence. You can continue following me and you will based on our promise. But I won't forgive you for this. I can't forgive you for this. I want to take from you everything. Every little thing. Starting with your heart. You submit to every word that I say and everything that I make you do. How much can you really forgive me for? How long until that resentment bubbles up until you hate me like the others? I guess I'll use you as an experiment. I'll figure that out firsthand and I'll see that moment when you hate me and then I'll end you this unpleasant but interesting situation. You can run away and I won't chase you but I'll only offer this once and never again. If you don't run, you're my plaything to do with as I please, however I want. And you're giving me that control, that power over you, knowing full well. Run. Run. I said for you to run. So do it. Ignoring orders at this point. You must really have no sense of self-preservation. No sense of anything. Just remember what you agreed to in this moment. I will break you of that smile, of that kindness, of that sickening way you make me feel. Love, if this is love, then why does it feel so painful? What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to do? That's empty, isn't it? This is a void. One never meant for me. And you, you're different. You're different. Even if you say you're similar or you understand, you don't, you don't, you won't. That's why I'll steal from you. I even warned you. I gave you a way out. So why? Why are you still here? Why are you still looking at me with that bright smile? It's blinding. It's sickening. It turns my stomach. Because you remind me of all of them. One after the next, and you'll betray me too, eventually. So, how long can you hold out, I wonder? How long can you remain with that fond little smile on my face? How long until I break you? Just like all of them. How long until you see me is nothing more than the monster, the monster that I am, that you've come to accept? Bullshit. I refuse to believe it. You'll have to prove it. Over time, then. 
perhaps will make this into a bet. Because I will someday, and you. I'll steal every ounce of happiness, every good thing from you. You could run still. It's your last chance. You little fool. So I suppose I should say it for now. Until that moment you betray me. You're my little fool. As sickening as it is to say it. So behave like it. And stay deathly still. I have some things I wish to steal from you firsthand, starting with those lips. <laughs> <laughs>